points. So we're gonna switch this one. Now you can see these dotted lines here and those dotted lines are gonna tell us that this first closest dotted line is 10%. This second dotted line is 20%. We want to make sure our, our nadir or our first bottom return falls between those two sets of dotted lines, closer to the 10% line. The closer we are to the 10% line, the um, better the resolution we will get out of the system. All right, and so with that being said, if we move out or we raise the towfish, that nadir will get bigger and bigger and bigger, and your resolution will get worse and worse and worse. Okay, if you lower the towfish and the toe and you get closer to the ground than that 10%, again, your resolution will start to decline because you're getting too close to the bottom. All right, so now let's talk a little bit. I got to move these this little chat room over so I can see my screen. All right, so again, with this image, we're seeing the towfish up here at the top, right? That's it right there and we are seeing it's what its image would look like in the screen, and then we see the nadir and our first bottom return. So here's our first bottom return, and then we got our imaging of the ground. And we have this wheel-type object here in the middle. That wheel-type object um, is, we'll just call that our target for now. Um, so as the side scan is flowing through the water and it's sending out a single frequency, right? That frequency is moving out across, right? Um, when it first hits the water, that frequency comes out of the transducer, it is not hitting anything, right? It hasn't hit the ground yet. And so as it's coming out, it's coming down and it hasn't hit anything. And if it hasn't hit anything, nothing is reflecting back to the towfish to give you an image. So if there is no sound reflecting back, it's going, the, the software is going to depict black as the image, okay? And you will start getting imaging once that frequency wave hits the ground. So you'll see right here where that frequency hits that first bottom return is where portions of that frequency start bouncing back to the side scan. That's when you start picking up these different densities going along the bottom. So then as the frequency starts moving across the screen, more and more of that frequency is bouncing back to the towfish, and you are getting all of these pixels in here. Now remember, it's only doing that very top row of pixels at a time, uh, but we're gonna talk about this pixel as it goes through the uh, middle of our wheel here. So here's our wave again. It's moving forward and across our screen, and once it hits our wheel type object, this whole lower half of that frequency wave is going to either be absorbed by our object or reflect back to the towfish. The amount of sound that reflects back to our towfish will give us this bright line right here. Okay, now again, because it's a big chunk of sound that's going back all at one time, that's why we get this bright mark here, okay? The darker shades are lower densities or lower reflections, okay? And so now the wave is gonna travel across the top of our object and it's still returning sound, right? And that's why we get all the, the imaging from inside our wheel. But then the frequency wave comes to the end of our wheel type object. Well, our wheel type object is off the ground. And all of this frequency right here was already sent back. So once our frequency exits the top of the wheel, it's no longer touching an object. If it's not touching an object, it can't be reflecting sound back. So we have to wait for that wave to hit the ground again before we start reflecting energy or reflecting that frequency back to the towfish. So everything where the wave is not touching the ground, we get a shadow. Make sense? Because this portion was already sent back. We can't regrow the wave in the middle of its scent. And so we have a missing wave out here. And so once it hits the ground again, we start reflecting more sound off the ground, and we again 
create an image. So that's the difference of how all of this frequency works. Okay, so we can see that frequency go across and we hit an object. Again, the more dense the object is, the brighter it will be because it is reflecting more sound. We'll talk about that in a further or a, or a different webinar. We're gonna get, we're gonna break all of these individual topics down um, further. Today, we just wanna get a, a very basic grasp of what's going on.